All right, guys, so I have a uh, Rheem Platinum Plus water heater, and I had the dreaded flammable vapor sensor failure on here, which gives you the uh, the seven flashing blue lights. As you see right now, I have the heartbeat uh, light going on, and that's because I was able to temporarily fix my sensor. And I'm gonna show you how. Um, it should be noted that I don't recommend doing this for as a permanent fix, just this is something until uh, the new sensor could come in, which should be Monday night, but it's currently Friday here, and I didn't want to wait four days with the cold showers. So, um, first, the sensor's mounted in this uh, this plastic piece right here. Uh, the plastic piece pops out, and the two connections here will be uh, removed from the sensor. <clears throat> Next thing you'll want to do is pop the sensor out of this plastic piece right here. I did it with a screwdriver. It's pretty easy. Um, third step was this cover right here is on the outside of the sensor. This is normally what it would look like from the front of the sensor with the two prongs sticking out the back. I was able to pop it off using a screwdriver. There's uh, four points of contact here as you can see. They pop off. It looks like they're only glued on. So you will destroy the sensor doing this, but again this was a temporary fix for me. Uh, after I got the sensor off, this was the, uh, the critical piece that I was looking for right here. Um, if you'll notice, there's black crap on the front of this thing. And there is uh, two smaller connections in here that have two holes in a piece. Uh, what I did is I removed the black stuff off of there with a magic eraser marker, or a magic eraser, until it was somewhat clean. If you take an ohms reading to the back of this thing, at that point, it was reading zero ohms. I then proceeded to color in between the two sensors with a pencil until the ohms reading came back. Uh, right now I got mine set to uh, 12 ohms. Uh, if you need more, color more deeply. If you need less, erase and obviously color in less. Um, again, make sure the ohms reading is correct. I plugged it in temporarily, just like this, to keep it going, give you hot water. And then you'll want to uh, unplug the water heater, turn it to the uh, off setting here plug it back in, set it to low, and when you turn it on, you'll still have the uh, failed sensor reading there on the uh, blue status indicator. I'll go ahead and rotate this back and forth seven full times going past uh, 120 degrees, so you'll wanna go all the way up, back, and all the way up seven full times. Um, at that point, you should have, uh, if you did the, the repair right, you should be able to get hot water temporarily. I hope this helps some of you out there. Uh, if not, <laughs> you'll have to get a, a new sensor. Unfortunately, Home Depot and none of the local stores here carry the sensors. Amazon's the quickest shipment method. And again, that was gonna take three full days. So good luck, hope this helps you guys.